What do you think? Have you heard anything about Neuralink and like Elon Musk's project yeah, yeah. to, uh, you know, put a chip in our brains and maybe we can send thoughts remember, to each other? Well, I, 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 uh, I went to a Keck Futures. Uh, I was invited at Keck Futures kind of years ago, seven, seven, eight years ago. What is Keck eight, Futures? Well, Keck, the Keck, you know, the Keck Telescope, the type. Oh, the, sure. Yeah, so yeah. they have a Keck Futures meeting every year, and you go in there and you. You come up with a problem and you devise answers. Okay. So it's a think tank for people who are mostly older and have, done, have made discoveries and things like that. So I was yeah. invited to go in there and we had this thing to do, a neural link type of thing. So the idea is how do we create a, a chip uh, for different sorts of disorders that, you know, blindness and, you know, Parkinson's, epilepsy, you name it. Yeah. So I designed one and, and then and then gave it during that talk you know okay. did it, like at the lunchtime between us yeah. so I did this and put it up on the blackboard at first I drew it on the blackboard but I did it in permanent ink which the, somebody the uh, somebody uh, remarked that we can never get rid of this I mean it was like this, uh, this this idea but anyway so that was published and it was how to integrate a chip into the brain using the na natural uh, making the holes a matrix of yeah. this you know, this chip, it's just small enough to allow uh, stem cells to migrate in uh, and not fibroblast. So you wouldn't get star, scar tissue. And um, and it would then become integrated into an existing piece of cortex. And it would have connectors and then neurons, you know, the progenitors, because a lot of stem cell research since 89, uh, uh, using natural stem cells in your brain, how to how to manipulate them. That's really what my work's been about for 30 years. Okay, it's not injecting people with new stuff. That's cells. different. Okay. That's, this was like finding out if your brain has its own. So we're the group that discovered, one of the groups that discovered, first ones to discover uh, that they're naturally in the brain, and we were the first ones to discover you could manipulate them and make them divide and go where you wanted. Yeah. With the right damage. So we, so I took that technology, put it together, and said, here, for somebody with blindness, this is how we can show the circuitry, how we can get around the blindness by putting in the missing piece of cortex. No. Well, I I was at a, I go to a lot of Google conferences. They, oh. I gave a talk at Google uh, Zeitgeist, which is, which was, uh, that was a lot of fun. It's their sea level people. Yeah. And, um, and there's a lot of interesting people there that meet once a year. So I've been invited to that and some other Google things, but also to Google Camp. Now Google Camp is the one in Sicily where they go and they, it's like, they had people flying in. I was the only guy that came in, uh, like on a car, in a car. Yeah, Everybody okay. was like, helicoptered in, you know. Wow. You know, the king, queen, king and queen of Jordan, yeah. you know, all these people. And uh, Andrew Bocelli and his wife were there. He was sick, you know, he did this song. But he came up to me and he goes, Jim, so I've been looking for you for several years. I saw your keck thing. Yeah. I said, well, how did you know? He says, no, I had people looking for this stuff because he's blind, you know. He's blind. And he said, is there any way... You know, how do we like actualize this? Yeah. And so I, you know, I told he and his wife, and I sent him the design and everything. He said, "I don't know, I've seen your design." I mean, he was just wow. really tuned into it, and um, and it was this basic neural link idea, but with stem cells too. You know, how to really integrate it. So we've been thinking about this for about fifteen years. Okay. So that yeah, I mean, he's just he, uh, Elon Musk takes ideas that a lot of people have. I mean, that have had. And then makes them go boom. Yeah, he's the part of the final fifty-yard line that I talked about, where okay. he doesn't come up with original ideas. There's people that's the grunts do that. Yeah, like me. Uh, but he's the one that like popularizes and puts that extra funding in. So he's that. That's so that's that's an idea that actually we've been, you know, bantering about. I, I wrote a screenplay with a neurologist on this really? in 1997. Wow. Exact same thing. I mean, it was called Sapiens, and it was about this this thing, which was the Neuralink thing. And, I mean, if you talk, if you sit down and talk to most any scientist, they have these stories. And it's not like, oh, I had that idea first. Yeah. Well, in fact, I did. But there's probably 10 other sure, guys yeah. and girls had the same idea. Yeah. So it's just, but then how do you make it go boom? Well, you need people with a lot of money and who, uh, who are willing to put together a team and know how to do that. Elon Musk, one of those guys. Um. Yeah, no, it's interesting. Do you, as as a libertarian, yeah. do you um, are you at all worried about the idea of putting a chip in someone's brain if you could send thoughts? Like, in terms of surveillance, yeah. mm -hmm. I mean, that seems like almost ultimate. You know. Well, part of it is allowing the freedom to make that choice. Sure. So yeah, I yeah, like yeah. the idea 
you know, it's only in a you know in a system where you have the freedom to say yes or no. Yeah. And to take your own responsibility. Yeah. That's the, I mean that's would the you, libertarian. Would you put a chip in your brain? Yeah, I was really old. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 And, uh, and I asked my mother that too. I mean, she died last year at 102. And I said, Mom, maybe we could put some chips in you. She said, I'll do it. I'm game now. She wouldn't have done it before. You know, yeah. she's a good little Sicilian Catholic girl, but you don't mess with nature. But yeah. she was ready to say, yeah, let's do that. Wow. <laughs> so there's always a point where you'd, you'd say yes. But I mean, it's, um, you know, from the point of view of scientists, anything goes. Right. I mean, it's not our job to make moral or public policy decisions. It really isn't. Yeah. Once we start doing that, we're lo it's it's over. Okay. okay. Uh, then you have just a technocrat.